hello you are once again welcome to my channel in today's video we are going to learn how to wire two motors alternate control using selector switch the circuit i have here is a two motors alternate control circuit when i turn on the selector switch contactor one would energize when i turn it off it would de-energize when i turn it on again contactor two would energize when i turn it off Contactor 2 would de energize in that order. Let's on the main breaker. So let's look at the wiring. This is the control circuit. We have K1, R1, K2. These are indicator lamps. This is the selector switch. The live wire will come to one side of the open contact on the selector switch. Our breaker, the live wire. This is our selector switch. So let's use the side, open side. From the other side of the selector switch, it will go to one side of the close contact on the R1. From the other side of the close contact, it will go to one side of the normally close contact on the K2. From the other side of the close contact on the K2, it will go to A1 on the contactor 1. You will tap from the normal close contact on the R1 to one side of the open contact on the K1. From the other side of the close contact on the R1, it will go to the other side of the open contact on the K1. We tap from the input of the selector switch to one side of the open contact on the K1. This is the input. To one side of the open contact on the K1. From the other side of the open contact, it goes to one side of the closed contact on the K2. From the other side of the close contact on the K2, it goes to A1 or terminal 13 on the R1. We tap from one side of the open contact on the K1 to one side of the open contact on the R1. The other side of the open contact on K1 will go to the other side of the open contact on R1. We are done with this side, left with this side. We tap from the output of the selector switch to one side of the open contact on the R1.
the other side will go to one side of the closed contact on the K1. The other side of the closed contact on the K1 will go to A1 on the K2. Now we jump from the other side of the open contact on the R1 to one side of the open contact on the K2. From the other side of the K2 open contact, we we'll come to either A1 of the K2 or K1 close contact because they are the same line. Connect it here or we can equally connect it this side. So let's connect it here. Left with the lamps, lamp one, one side, the X1 terminal of the lamp will connect to the A1 terminal of K1. For lamp one, it will connect to A1 terminal of K1. Lamp two, the live cable will connect to A1 terminal on K2. Their neutral cables are joined together. This is the common neutral. This is the neutral from the breaker. You join them together. This one will connect to the A2 terminal or terminal 14 on the relay. I will join a cable here. This side will connect to the A2 terminal on the contactor K1. Then I will join the lamp neutral and this one together. And I will connect it at the A2 terminal of contactor K2. All right, we are done with the whole wiring. I will turn on the main breaker, K1, K2, or motor 1, motor 2. These are the indicator lamps. When I turn on the selector switch, K1 would energize. When I turn it off, it would de-energize. When I turn on the selector switch for the second time, K2 would energize. When I turn it off, it would de-energize in that order. It is used in so many applications, in water pumping systems, and so on. If you could not understand the whole process, I will kindly urge you that you watch the video over again. This brings us to the end of today's video. I will see you in my next tutorials. Thank you.